ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st annual Passover. All I ever want. Yo, this is crazy, yo. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. Back in 1985, I came into Israelite School of UPK. There were 20 wooden chairs on the men's side. And those chairs weren't even filled up. Less on the women's side. Now, we are at the arena. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to them all. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser, I don't like people either I don't care if your Nas or Jigger ain't wanna meet you Just give me my motherfucking check if we do a feature Tell Michael Jordan he can keep his fucking sneakers Walk inside your favorite church and just drop your preacher Cause he ain't gonna drop the right shit that he should teach you But what about Obama? Nigga, I don't like him either What has he done for us? We're gonna be located at the Westchester County Center 198 Central Ave White Plains, New York, 10606. in the cars. They got million dollar houses. Have you seen ours? See, we get mesmerized and fail to recognize that they don't sympathize. A hundred dollars for all adults, 17 and over. Kids are for free. Start sending in your funds today. We are the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Started out of 1 West, 125th Street, out of Harlem, New York, under commanding General Yohanan, man. We come out here and teach that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the real Jews, according to the Bible, man. We are the real people of this book. Hold this book up right here. Anybody know what this book is? You guessed it. It's the Bible, man. In this Bible, it says that the Lord's children... The Lord's special children are blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And this is why the so-called white man is called the devil. You know why? Because he has deceived the entire earth into believing he is the special people on the face of the earth. When the Lord says otherwise, give me Deuteronomy 7 to 6, man. The Lord has says otherwise. The God of the Bible says that his children, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are a special people, man. It's not our words. I know that sounds racist, doesn't it? That sounds like that's not fair, doesn't it? Guess what? Our lives in America right now isn't fair, man. That's the right. suffering that we endure in America right now isn't fair, man. But right. guess what? Nobody's advocating on our behalf. Nobody's advocating on behalf of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But guess what? The Lord is going to advocate on our behalf. That's you know right. why? Because we are his children, and we are special to the Lord, man. America may think that we're nothing more than thugs and criminals and thieves. Guess what? The Lord knows better, man. The Lord knows otherwise. That's not our culture. We have followed after America, and now we are deviants. Now we are animals. Now we're thugs. When guess what, black man, Hispanic man, Native American Indian man? That's not our culture according to the Bible. Our, our culture according to the Bible is to be the Lord's people. And it's in the Bible. The Bible is black supremacy. I bet you didn't know that. That's right. I'm going to hurt some feelings, man. The Bible is black supremacy. That's right. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art holy people. The Bible says, for thou art an holy people. The Bible is saying that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are separate, man. The word holy means separate. The Christian church will lie and say, yeah, I'm holy. Holy, holy. Not understanding what holy means, man. Holy means to be separate. Thank you, thank you, brother. Holy means to be separate, man. The Lord is saying that we are a separate people. Keep reading. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a what? A special people. The lowest. The, a special the, A special people. The Lord is saying that we are a special people. America says that we're nothing. America treats us as third-class citizens, man. We're not even citizens in America. They put, they put Hispanic children in cages when this land belongs to Hispanics and the Native Americans, man. Right. And if they find this, this is how hypocritical the so-called white man is. If he sees a dog in the cage too long, he wants to let the dog free. He doesn't want to see an animal in the cage too long, but guess what? Right here in the so-called land of the free and home of the brave, 
they have Hispanic children in cages, man. Guess what? Right, on their own land. You do know this land doesn't belong to the white man, right? You do know that. You can go a hundred years, a couple hundred years back, and history will tell you this land belonged to the so-called Native Americans and Hispanics. But these people, the devil the Bible speaks of counts, and he steals, he kills, and he destroys, man. And that's what he did to our Hispanic and Native, and Native American brothers. But guess what? The most high God of the Bible says that we are a special people, man. Black man, Hispanic man, Native American, Indian man, listen. Don't let the programming of America make you feel inferior, man. Don't let the programming of America make you feel like your life isn't worth it. Guess what? Your life is worth saving. Your life is worth changing, man. The Lord is saying it. America wants us to have no hope. You know why? Because as, as soon as black people have, a, have hope, then we start to change, man. As long as we don't have hope, we'll continue to, to, to buy the white man's drugs. We'll continue to, to spend $11 million in one week in the white man's dispensaries. We'll continue to sell our children out, man, to, to entertainers. We'll continue to want to join hand in hand like Martin Luther King wanted. Well, guess what? The God of the Bible never wanted us to join with these people. The God of the Bible doesn't want us to be American or Republican or Democrat or Christian or Muslim, man. The Lord wants us to be his children. And guess what? We have to start doing that. You know why? Because we belong to him. We don't belong to ourselves, man. We have a father. Read again from the top. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. Above who? Above all people. This sounds like it's racism, don't it? The Bible says God has chosen Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to be special above all people, man. Make no mistake about it, this Bible is stating very clear the hierarchy on the earth. That's what it's supposed to be. You understand that the white man having America and running the earth is out of order. You understand that, right? The way we live right now is out of order. It's out of order, man. The Lord said we are supposed to be above all people. You know why? Because black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the Lord's children. We are the Lord's children, man. Don't let these people, these imposters fool you, man. They got synagogues everywhere. They over there fighting over the so-called land of Israel when it doesn't belong to the, Is the so-called Israelis or the Palestinians, man. That, belong, that land belongs to the Lord's children. And that's why it's always going to be fighting over there until Christ comes back. Because guess what? It doesn't belong to them. Thank you, brother. Get a fly, man. This is the, that's our land, man, and we're the Lord's children. Read the read special part again. A special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. A special people, a special people. Listen, it's not hard to believe. Even in our worst conditions, look what blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans do, man. Look what we come up with in the ghettos, in the burials, and the reservations. We built America, man. Donald Trump says he wants to make America great. I'll help you. What makes America great? Can anybody ask anybody that's not scared? What, what makes America great? Come on, pa uh, patriots. Who's all the patriotic people? What makes America great? Nobody knows. I guess America isn't great. That's, probably, that's why y'all uh, elected Donald Trump, because it's not great anymore, huh? I'll help you. America was only great because of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. America was great because of our sacrifices, because of our blood, sweat, and tears, man. That's why America was great. The captains brought it out. That's why Rome was great. That's why Babylon was great. That's why Greece was great. Because we were there, man. They say, if we don't like it here, go back to where you came from. You honestly think America will last if blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans left this place? Oh, no. This place will fall, man. This place would fall in one day. You know why? Because we are the ones that make America great. Because we are the Lord's children, man. We are special to the Lord. And we are above all people, man. Give me, give me a uh, no sweat. We're going to get some more on this, man. Because the so-called white man is the devil. He's a devil from deceiving our people into believing that we're nothing. Give me 2 Peter 2 and 9, man. Black man, Hispanic man, Native American, Indian man. Don't think that because you're on drugs that you're worthless, man. Don't think because that you have afflictions that you're nothing. Guess what? Even in your nothingness, man, the Lord wants you to change, man. 
Right, and guess what? He still sees us as better, man. He sees us as superior to the people that rule over us. I know it's hard to look at because we don't have anything in America. We're the slaves in America, but guess what? Nobody ever told us that the slaves were supposed to be the ones in charge. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we're supposed to run this earth, man. You know why? Because we're the only ones fit to do it. Look at the condition of the earth with the white man running the earth, man. Look at the condition of the earth. Not only are we suffering, and listen, we don't care about no other race, but the whole earth knows the white man is the devil, man. The whole earth suffers under the authority of the white man. Guess what? We should be ruling the earth. You know why? Because we're special people according to the Lord. Tell them where you at. This is 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust. 2 Peter 2 and 9. It's like, hold on, hold that. We're gonna get some more of that. Keep reading. And to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Read it again. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust. The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation, man. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the Lord's children. And guess what? If you want to, the Lord will deliver us out of the temptation to smoke the white man's drugs, to be a murderer, to be a, a thief, to be a sexual deviant, to be everything that's American, man. We are a godly people, and guess what? We should start acting like it, black man, Native American, Indian man, Hispanic man. We are a godly people, man. Right now, we live like rats and roaches when really we should live like royalty, man. We should run the earth. Because we have compassion, we have mercy, we have understanding, man. We have a sense of humanity. The people that rule the earth now, the people that are over us now have no sense of humanity. They have no mercy, no compassion. The white man has no heart, man. He only cares about him and himself only. That's why it's so hard for them to understand the struggles and the pains that we go through. The fact that we have to explain white privilege to a white man in this day and age speaks volumes, man. That's right. Speaks volumes, man. That's right. Because they don't understand anything outside of their pain. That's right. Guess what? The Lord is going to deliver us from this temptation, man. This temptation that surround us in this wicked kingdom, man. The Lord hates America. You know why? Because he has deceived the Lord's children to believing that we're nothing. When we are the real Jews, man. We are the real Jews according to the Bible. Give me Song of Solomon 1 and 5, man. Who gave us this image, man? Who gave us the image that the greatest man that ever walked the face of the earth to be a white man? You do understand history, right? In the Bible, you know Christ is a black man. Christ is a Jew according to the Bible. And guess what the Bible says about the Jews? The Bible says that the Jews are black. Uh-oh, but the some feelings. The Jews are black according to the Bible, not according to made-up history, not according to what a certain group of people have said, lied and said. According to the Bible, the real Jews are black. All these synagogues you see here in D.C., in New York, and in Jersey, guess what? Those are the synagogue of Satan, man. You know why? Because they're not the real Jews. They're running around with stolen identity. Imagine if somebody stole your wallet and took your driver's license, and now they're walking around saying, yeah, I'm you. Imagine somebody did that, man. That's a crime. You understand that, right? Identity theft is a crime. And guess what? The same people that's, that claim that we're anti-Semitic are the real anti-Semitics, man. You know why? Because they're running around with our identity. That's a hate crime. That's a real hate crime, man. Who's going to speak up about the anti-Semitism going on against blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man? America is anti-Semitic towards the Lord's people, man. Who's speaking up on our behalf? Every time we turn around, we hear all oh, the Holocaust. Hitler, who's going to speak about the 99 million black men and women that died on the transatlantic slave trade? Who's going to speak up about the 77 million North, Amer North American Indians that were slaughtered by the white man? Who's going to speak up for them? And right now, he, the white man got the Native Americans living on reservations, man. Anybody ever been to a reservation? If you go to a reservation, I'll tell you what it look like. South Side of Chicago, West Baltimore, the Bronx. It's a concentration camp, man. The ghettos, the projects, the burials, the reservations that we live on are concentration camps. But the whole time, they push us the history of knowing the Holocaust. Listen, don't get me wrong, that was very tragic. That's very sad, man. Six million white people being killed, that's sad. 
But guess what? How come there's no sympathy or feeling for the 99 million that ours that died, man? The 77 million that ours that have died. Why is there no sympathy or pain for Emmett Till, for Sandra Bland, for Tatiana Jefferson, for both them John, man? For Imagic Bradford, man? Where's the sympathy when we die, when we suffer, man? It's not there, you know why? Because these people are not fit to rule. They're not fit to rule. If they were, they, they would prove it. They would prove it. They have no compassion. Tell them where you at. It's Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. I am black. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is Solomon speaking right here. Like I said, in the Bible, the Jews are black. Everybody in this Bible is black. We believe that lie that the Bible was written by white people. That was, it's a white man's book. You know why? Because as soon as we actually start to pick up the Bible and do what it says, we would be in charge, man. Because this book pertains to us. These laws, statutes, and commandments in this book is the black man's constitution. According to the America's constitution, we are still three-fifths human, man. When they said all men were created equal, they weren't talking about us. You know where black people were? When they were drafting the, the Declaration of Independence, we were in the slave fields, man. They said all men were created equal while we're picking cotton. While we're being lynched and murdered and tortured and maimed, man. But guess what? We have a constitution. This constitution is the Bible. The laws, statutes, and commandments in this book right here. And we should follow them. You know why? Because it pertains to us. It's the answer to rid our communities of poverty, man. It's the answer to our oppression. Tell them where you at. Read it. This, this is Solomon right here in the Bible. Everybody know King Solomon. King Solomon was the son of King David. The famous King David, right? And right here, Solomon is speaking, man. Solomon's going to reveal something about himself that a lot of people don't, e don't even know. It's sad that the Christians don't even know this. We go to church all our lives and grow up in church, and we never knew basic things like the people in the Bible were black. That the Bible is talking to us the whole time. We go and take DNA tests, trying to figure out where we're from. Them DNA tests is not going to tell you where you're from, man. That, that's, that's a scam, man. That's right, brother. Solomon said, I am black. Read it. I am black. I am what? I am black. Spell that word, man, for those who think we lying, man. This is the King James Bible. If the white man wrote this book, why has he got a brother in here saying, uh, why does he have a king saying, I'm black? If the white man wrote this book, you know the white man don't want nobody else to get shine, man. He don't want nobody to get shine, so why would he leave in here that King Solomon, the wisest king, to say, I am black? I'll tell you why, because guess what? That lie that this is a white man's book is a myth to get us to not believe in this book, man. Hold on, brother. Go to the table, brother. Go ahead. Keep reading. I am black, but comely. I am black, but comely. King Solomon was saying a phrase that we've used for a long time before we even knew it. You know what the word comely means? Comely means beautiful, attractive. We say that now. We say, I'm black and beautiful, man. Black and beautiful. King Solomon was saying this back then, man, thousands of years ago. Keep reading. O oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Solomon is saying, I am black and beautiful, man. As the tents of Kedar, man. Solomon was saying, guess what? I am gorgeous, man. And guess what? Black man, Hispanic man, Native American Indian man. Guess what? We have been made to feel ugly by white supremacy, man. You ever seen that experiment where they took a little black girl and they put a white doll in front of her and a black doll? And they asked the little black girl, what doll is smart? And the black girl pointed to the, the white doll. And then they asked the black girl, what doll is mean? And she pointed to the black doll. Then they asked the girl, what doll is beautiful? And guess what? This little black girl, no, no older than five years old, when they asked her what doll is beautiful, she pointed to the white doll. That's what we are under in America, man. White supremacy starts as soon as we come out the womb, man. And guess what? If we only knew the Bible was black supremacy, we would defeat it, man. And we were teaching, that like the brother was bringing out earlier, we were teaching our kids that the white man is the devil and that we are the Lord's children. Maybe we will have some more self-respect and dignity, man. Maybe we wouldn't get high. Maybe if we would got, maybe if, if the so-called Jewish man gave us our identity back, maybe our communities wouldn't be in, in tarnished, man. Maybe our communities wouldn't be suffering 
the things that we suffer. Maybe 3,000 black men wouldn't be murdered every year, man. Maybe 350,000 black babies wouldn't be aborted every year. Right. Maybe 68,000 black women wouldn't be missing right now. Right. If we knew we were special, if we knew we were the Lord's children. BK presents the Lord's 51st annual Passover. This is crazy, yo. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. Back in 1985, I came into Israelite School of UPK. There were 20 wooden chairs on the men's side. And those chairs weren't even filled up. Less on the women's side. Now we are at the arena. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to them all. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser. I don't like people either. I don't care if you're not the jigger and want to meet you. Just give me my motherfucking check if we do a feature. Tell Michael Jordan he can keep his fucking sneakers. Walk inside your favorite church and just drop your preacher. Cause he ain't gonna drop the right shit that he should teach you. But what about Obama? Nigga, I don't like him either. What has he done for us? We're gonna be located at the Westchester County Center, 198 Central Ave. White Plains, New York, 10606. Diamonds in the cars. They got million dollar houses. Have you seen ours? See, we get mesmerized and feel to recognize that they don't sympathize. A hundred dollars for all adults, 17 and over. Kids are for free. Start sending in your funds today. For booking information, check us out on the ISUPA 51st annual pass over Facebook page. More updates will be available soon. Last but not least, Israel, Commandant General Yohanna will be accepting the men willing to stand for the Hebrew Academy 2021. If you're a black, Hispanic, or Native American Indian male, and you want to participate in Hebrew Academy 2021, contact the nearest camp leader in your city to see if you got what it takes to be a soldier in the Army of Christ under Commanding General Yohannes. ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st Annual Passover.